Hi there, my name's Chris Betcher. I'm going to take you through an exercise here where I show you how to create an image map using Google Drawing. Uh, and this was actually prompted by a question on the Google Certified Teacher discussion list the other day from Adrian Francis, who wanted to be able to make an image map. And um, he asked if anyone had any simple ideas for doing this. And uh, my friend and colleague Jay Atwood jumped in and said, uh, try doing it with Google Drawings. And I hadn't never tried that before, so um, I gave it a shot. And it's a really good technique. So I'd like to show you how I'm using this idea that I got from Jay and Adrian. Um, so here's the plan. I've got this photograph here of a bunch of people. This is actually a group of us that were working up on the Google booth at Edutech last year in Brisbane. And what I'd like to do is to turn this into an image map. So even though it's one image, um, I'd like to be able to click on individual people in here and have that link to, say, their Google Plus profile page. Uh, and to do that, I've got to isolate the, uh, the different people so that they, the area uh, in the photo that covers them becomes a clickable area. So here's how we're going to do that. Let me just move this out of the way and go to my Google Drive. So the first thing we'll do is we'll create a Google Drawing. Um, and Drawing is one of those tools that in here in the Google tool set that never seem to get um, mentioned much, but they're actually quite powerful. So we'll go in here, create a new drawing. And as you can see, we have a blank transparent canvas. I can tell it's transparent because it's got the checkerboard pattern. Uh, and I guess I should name it, so we'll just call this Image Map. Right, and the first thing I'll do is insert an image onto this blank canvas. So insert image and go and find it, and you can find it from where it is. Mine's just sitting here on the desktop, so we'll drag that in. And it uploads that image there into Google Drive, or into, sorry, into the, uh, the, the drawing file. And you can see there it is there. Now, just for later reference, you notice it's got a little bit of room at the top and bottom. Um, you can fix that. I'm just going to slide this image up like that so it sort of matches at the top there. And then down the bottom, you notice it's got like a little dragging handle. So I'm just going to take that dragging handle and sort of pull it up there just so that the picture actually fits the canvas frame. Uh, just, just a little neatness thing. Now, the basic idea here is I'm going to make a shape. So there's a bunch of shape tools in here in Google uh, Drawings. And I'm, what I want to do is to take a shape and place that shape over the top of an area there. Okay, and then what, what I'll do is I'll turn this shape into something that's clickable. So if I right click now on this shape, you can see I've got an option here to turn that shape into a link. So I can go in there and type in, um, uh, seeing that's me, I'll use my Google Plus page, uh, www.google.com slash plus Chris Betcher. There you go. So if I now apply that, that box becomes a link that takes you out to my Google Plus profile page. Now, I could do the same thing with, say, uh, standing next to me here is Chris Hart. I could go and, uh, again, draw a box like that and place that over Chris like so. And again, right-click, link, um, okay, and apply. So that's how you do it. Now you think, well, I don't want those big blue boxes everywhere. Well, what you do is just select the box, go up here to the options and make it a transparent box with a transparent outline. Now, it's still a box. If I still click in that space, there's still actually a shape there, but now it's invisible. And so I'll just do this other one as well, just to, okay, transparent fill, transparent outline. And so the two Chris's here both actually do have shapes on them. You can see there. And you can see they do have links to them. But in the image, I don't actually see that. Now, that on its own, um, I think uh, that's a great idea. You know, you can turn bits of an image into clickable areas. But what I wanted to do, because it gets a bit messy, you can see, is that everyone's a different shape. And uh, what if someone wants to click down here and they actually click on a leg rather than, than the face? Um, you know, the leg wasn't part of that box. So I thought, is there a better way to do this? And the better way to do it here is if you go to this, uh, instead of choosing a shape from the shapes list, and there are lots of shapes to choose from, but instead go to the line next to it and use this thing called a polyline. A polyline is just a like, let's you create a, um, a polygon shape. So I'm going to choose poly, polyline. And what I can do is I'm simply clicking around the shape, like so, click, 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 click. I can actually draw a shape around the area that I want to be clickable. So I'm going to go all the way down here to there, come up the side of the knee there, into there, I don't want to overlap John, 
go around. And when you get to the end, you go back to your starting point and click, and it turns it into a shape. And now you notice I've still got the little crosshairs there, so it's still waiting for me to draw the next point. So what I need to do is press the escape key, and it will actually escape out of there. And now you can see there's the shape, and that shape just sits over the top of my body. I'll just put it back like so. Okay. Now, where I got caught out, remember with the box, I right-clicked on the box, and I had the option to create a link. When you right click on a polygon shape, you don't have the option to create a link. And that threw me. I thought maybe this is not possible. It actually is. What you do is you select the shape, go to the insert menu and choose link or command K or control K for a shortcut. And when you do that, then it opens up this thing again and you can type the, the link back in there and apply that. So I've now got a link from this sort of random shape here. You do the same thing. You go through and make it transparent and you make it transparent around the edges and then you have a shape that sits over the top of the body like that even though when it's not selected you actually see nothing now I've actually made one and I've done every one so here's, here's there's that one there's Chris there's Tim there's um, Lee there's Swan okay and, and you can see so all these people not all of them I, I haven't, haven't done some people in here but most of these people have a shape around them that's been drawn with the poly tool and that shape has been made transparent with a transparent outline and it's had a, um, uh, a link applied to it. And there's even some little hidden ones there like this one that goes to the Google logo. Okay, so that's how it works. Now, the neat thing is that once you've created this, this page here, so I've got a Google site here. And in a Google site, if I just open this site page up for editing, you can go to the insert menu in a site once you've created that image map with the overlays on it. Go to drive and insert a drawing. And it goes through and looks here at the drawings and there's uh, this This is the sample one I just started making. It's only got my shape done and this is the one I made earlier that's got everybody done. So I'm going to use that one. So I'll just choose that and say select. And it will go ahead and just now decide how wide this is going to be. I'm going to make this... Um, 750. I don't really know how high it's got to be. I'm, I'm taking a guess here. I'll just make it 500 for now. Uh, and we'll do that and it will insert that in there. And when I refresh the page, the, the image map test, the image goes in there. Now if you look carefully, you can see as I move my mouse over the different people here, and you look down at the bottom corner, so just down, down in this area here, you'll see that as I roll over the area, you see the different hotspots lighting up here. So it will in fact work. In fact, if I click on, say, Chris Hart, it takes me straight to Chris Hart's Google Plus profile page. So it actually works, I'd treat, and, it, and what I've discovered is that it doesn't matter whether you resize this. In fact, you, you might have noticed when we put the, the numbers in for, um, I think we made the 750 wide, everything scales, so it fits um, even if you rescale the image. And the other nice thing is if you go back to the drive, if, if I was to make a change to this or add someone in here or delete someone or rename someone or point to something different, when I go back to here, because this is an embedded image of the Google Drawing, when I make a change in the Google Drawing, it actually updates automatically here. So it's a super simple way to make these image maps. And there's all sorts of interesting ways you could use that. I'll leave that to your imagination, but that's how you make an image map in Google Drawings.